Hey guys and welcome back to the Minecraft video and for this video Mark has brought us to this huge field now he's left once again quite a few chests which I'm assuming he wants us to make quite a few episodes here so one two three four episodes and he's left us a chest that says from Mark and he's left us a book so let's see what the book says Dear brothers these new Lickanite mobs are an absolute mind gobble so make sure to handle them with care and be prepared, Mark. So, of course we'll be prepared, Mark, you know, we always are. Um, but, something I am curious about is what does he want us to be prepared for? You know, is it those sheep over there because we could get attacked by them? You know, what is it? So let's have a look in the first chest. And what are these? These are spawners. Wow, this is so cool. So these are the Lickenite mob spawners. These are absolutely fascinating. So today we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, nine, eighteen, nineteen mobs today to show you guys today. And does that mean we have like more in here? Wow, another different nineteen. And then another nineteen. And then 18 in this one. Wow, we have, so that's like 20, 40, 60, like 75 mobs or so. That is absolutely crazy. So let's go ahead and get the first few out. We have Spawn Reaver, which says, I see spirits that hurl four bolts at anything they die, they deem a threat. Wow, this is crazy. Then we have the Frost Reaver, the Kako Demon, the Nether Soul, the Jost Alpha, the Jost, the Gorgamite, the Arisaur, the Trent. So we'll get those first nine out and then we'll do the rest later. What I am gonna do, as always, go away from my chests and spawn them. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have found a perfect area to spawn them. Now behind me, we have a few new creatures. Um, we have cows over there, which aren't new. And then I don't know what those things are behind me to my left. Like, they look absolutely crazy, but we might find them when we spawn some of these new creatures. So let's spawn the Trent. Wow, this must mean it's a dangerous creature. Here we go. Wow, look at it. Yep, definitely dangerous. Look at that angry face of his. He has 40 life points. Um, the sort of notes he gives us is, is a large guardians of the forest, very much like ants, only much bigger and stronger. They will sometimes cause paralysis, drain health when attacking, and regenerate from water. So I'm not really sure what to make of this one. He's absolutely crazy. Now, I love this little like graphic features they've done of this one with his claws. His claws in one hit could literally like rip me apart. But let's move on to the next one, and um, we won't be attacking them in this episode. In another episode, we will start fighting them and let them fight together and stuff. So let's spawn the Arisaur, which, let's see. Wow, this is like a dinosaur, but it's like, well, let's see what it says. Large plant-like sauropodos. Arisaurs are peaceful and normally graze from trees. They can be lured and farmed using vegetables. Do they count as meat though? Wow, they look absolutely crazy. I love the whole idea of a dinosaur like growing trees from its like bottoms. Um, when I say bottoms, I mean like underneath, yeah, not its actual bottom, which I'm sure he is probably growing some down there. And he is, let's not look. But that is an absolutely fascinating one. I wonder if they come in different colors. So let's spawn another one. No, maybe they come in all same different colors. I was hoping like maybe a red one, um, a, you know, blue one or something but no let's spawn a gorgamite which this one says small rock beetles fairly weak but if given enough time they will call nearby friends from the ground before you know it you'll be swarmed so kill them quickly they are scared of manticores so let's go ahead and spawn one. Oh, kepal gore wow these ones do come in different colors these are really cool so if we attack one hmm it says it will spawn like friends but wow why is this one Ke uh, Keppel Gorgmite and these ones don't have a name? No, that's so weird. Um, but this one does have to have 20 life points and these only have 5. So I'm guessing um, this one's like some boss one. I don't know, it's very confusing. So let's move on to the next one which is the Jost. Which this one says, Fierce desert animals, they can be farmed and love cactus green. They're usually peaceful but will bite back if hit. Watch out for alphas. So, that's probably what we spawned here, an alpha. Is it following me? Okay, I was like, oh no, please don't follow me. Let's see. Wow, baby Jost. A really baby one. Whoa. Oh, look, it kind of like ran to its mom's side and holding the leg now. Let's see when we push it. 
Yeah, look. Oh, that is so nice. Oh, the little babies are so scared. But they look absolutely scary. They're like dinosaurs once again. These are really fierce. Let's move on to the next one, which is the Jost Alpha. Um, this is basically like a bigger one of this one. So let's see. Wow, look at the colors. And let's see. Oh, Alphas fight together, guys. They fight. Let's see what happens. Wow, this is absolutely crazy. I don't know what's going on here. Like, they're absolutely just, like, fighting away. Should we help one out just, like, real quick? Let's see. There we go. Let's just kind of hurry this up because all this sound is, like, absolutely crazy. Let's see what happens. Wow. And look, it got nine life points for killing the other one. And they dropped tons and tons of experience and whatever that is, like, prawns. Let's see what that is. Raw jost me. Okay, makes sense. Let's spawn now the nether soul. <gasps> Whoa. Let's see. Come on, come back here. That is so scary. It's like a, a skull. Can you see it? Oh, scary stuff. This one, demonic skulls suspended by demonic flame. They will charge into their target and will explode on death. Whoa. Now let's spawn the um, cackle demon, which is a large floating abomination of life. Kako demons fire a deadly blast of demonic lightning and like to bully ghasts for their delicious tears. Can be tamed as a flying pet. Oh, pets, lovely. Whoa, really nice. Well, actually, I was actually spawning the same one. We have to spawn the Kako demon. So th th this one's like a different one than that one. This is the one I wanted to spawn. There we go. Oh, goodness me, no wonder they love to like take the mick out of ghasts. They actually look like them a little bit. Like the whole big body part and everything. Oh, super scary. Let's see what happens when we spawn a couple. They seem to be peaceful creatures actually, which is quite weird. They look absolutely like horrific. Um, but let's now go into the next one, which is the Frost Weaver. Nice, he's obviously spawned in the icy uh, areas. Foul spitting ice spiders take heeds or heed as they spit with produce. A temporary sticky frost web. Wow, crazy. And this one, the Reaver. Wow. They, okay, this one so far is my favorite. I out of these first nine, this one's my favorite. Um, but yeah, this is absolutely crazy. I love this one so much. And that one says, icy spirits that hold force bolts at anything they deem a threat. Wow. So if you get near it, I would assume you'll deem it as a threat. And there you go. It's now flying away. So let's go and get the rest of our monsters, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we've done the first nine, so let's put these in. Here we go, perfect, great. And now let's get to the next one, which is the end, the Silex, the Cinder, the Qualk, the Lobba, the Vespid Queen, the Bargesh, the Kobold, and the Maka. And do you know what, we'll get this one out now, the Etin, and we'll get it later in our inventory. And let's go back to our crazy area and spawn the rest. Okay, so here we are. Um, let's go and spawn the Maka, which says a large peaceful herbivores can be found with vegetables for their meat and leather. Be careful around alphas. Wow, is this like a giant lizard? That's a nice one. Um, so far, this is not my favorite one. I can say that for sure. Um, I just don't like the way it looks, but I can imagine it being super scary when you find it in the desert. Ugh, okay, even picturing it, I'm shivering. Now let's spawn the kobold, which is a small rodent that can't resist stealing items. Killing them will cause them to drop their items. They usually flee from other creatures, but are known to attack people who are low on health. Well, they are quite smart creatures then. What happened? Okay, these are seem to be dangerous ones again. They're like rats, running rats, look at them. Look at that rat. Ugh, what is wrong with that thing? Okay, let's go ahead and spawn at the bar guest. Whoa. I feel like there's going to be a fight. Yep, I knew it. Oh, scary stuff. Let's see what this one says. The Barghest, deadly mount, mount, um, mountain uh, predator is capable of making high leaps with deadly weight attacks on impact. Barghests are also very competent climbers, making them exceptional mounts for the mountains. Wow, crazy. But let's spawn the sun back. There we go. And now let's do the Vespid Queen. Okay, here we go. Gosh, the Vespid Queen is now attacking the Mac over there. <laughs> no, no, poor thing. It's only regenerate, you can kind of see it there. Seven seconds. Wow, it's attacking it with its stinger. That's absolutely crazy. 
The large Vespid that are protected by a swarm of standard Vespids, queens will have nearby standard Vespids build a hive. Vespid queens are known to inject eggs into their combat, turning them into undead nests, waiting to hatch. Wow, that is crazy. Some of these just have no mercy. And there we go, Makami. Perfect. And he's attacking everything. Look at it. The Arisaur, poor thing. The Arisaur seems to be able to protect itself for now against the attack, but it's not going to happen now like that forever. But let's spawn on now the Etin. Gosh, these are definitely not nice ones. 30 life points, really dangerous creatures it looks like. The Etin are large, twin-headed monstrosities. Etins are slow, but pack a nasty blow. Of course, with their two, like, hackers, really. If you get too close during combat, they will panic and destroy nearby soft blocks, such as wood or dirt. Wow. And let's spawn the large lava golems, which is a lobber. Lobbers lurk within large lakes of lava and will throw lava at their target. It seems like you just can't survive. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Gosh. <gasps> Everything's on fire. We've got to put out the fire. Put it out. Put it out. There we go. There you go. There you go. Get out. There we go. Move, 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 move. Oh, fire. It's never going to stop. Everything's going to burn forever. Wow. Forget diamonds. I'm never going underground ever again. Forget that. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> With those, I'm never going anywhere. I'm going to stay in my house. Let's spawn the quad... Gosh. Oh no, it's coming near me. Let's see. The large magma beasts known for their incredible defense and deadly offense. On death, their bodies break down into lava. Wow. Let's try that out for a second. Diamond. Diamond. Perfect. I just want to try it out just to see what it's like. Five. Here we go. They're quite easy to kill to be honest, but... Ugh. Wow. Scary. Wow, that's absolutely scary stuff. Oh, okay, let's get away from that. And now let's spawn the Cinder. Okay, this reminds me of exactly the one like the Ice one. But this one is Violent Fire Spirits. Cinders like to incinerate everything. So I'm guessing if you push this one, does it incinerate? No, so this one seems to incinerate everything. Maybe it's a fraud. You fraud. Ugh. There we go. Hey, we've got experience for that. And I got an achievement, too hot to handle. Perfect. Let's spawn the Silex. What is this? Some slug, peaceful creature. Beautiful fish with scales encrusted with lapis lazuli. Silex are known to eat the uh, to eat the lapis off each other's scales as well as natural formations from rock. Very nice, I do like this one. Um, I just like peaceful creatures. I don't like to walk around and be like, oh no, what's that? So let's do the Ent. Ah, oh, really nice one. Okay, this one looks angry again, yeah. Let's see. Protectors of the forest, they will attack anything they deem a threat to the forest on sight. This means you. I was going to say, like, anything that deems to the forest, not to it, but to the whole forest. They regenerate in water and will drain health when attacking. Okay, so that's uh, quite nice to know. Um, I guess Mark was right. We should be quite careful with most of these creatures. It seems like the bee gave up on attacking that thing. But... To be honest, I am going to leave this episode here just because we have now pretty much shown you all 19 creatures I was meant to show you today. So thanks guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon with another video. So, peace out.